Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. Almost there. Almost there, pal. A lot dirtier than that. I have some thoughts on Rory. Let's hear them. I'm starting to think she's full of shit. What do you mean? I, she's, I feel like she's not telling the whole truth. I feel like she has an ulterior motive because it goes back to two things. The, first, the more, more obvious thing is she made it when she told them what had happened when she got mad. She was going through something, which we don't know what it was that she said. And then she said, if God was going to show up at any or if you were my dad was going to show up at any show. point, it would have been then. And then she said she got so frustrated and mad that that's when she came back in time. But when she did, she so that makes it seem like she didn't try to do it, like it just happened. But when she showed up, she like clearly had a goal. She when she landed on the knew when where, she was what, on the thing when knew she was what timeline she was in. Yeah, and then when she also was like on the throne when she first arrived, and she was like didn't seem like she was shocked to be there. Like not that we saw her face or anything, but like she was had her legs crossed and like seemed pretty casual about it. There's that. Plus, we know she likes to like fuck with people because. Mm -hmm. She fucked with Maeve, Eve, and, Eve and uh, Amenadiel. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. There's just something fishy about her. And she doesn't seem to tell, like... And I know a lot of them do that in this show where they don't, like, say the truth a lot. But, like, I don't Not know. Not even the truth. Just the whole truth. And nothing but the truth. So help you. Lucifer. But, <laughs> um, the throne thing... She, If she was looking for him and thought that's where he was sitting on the throne like maybe she could have seen where he was. Yeah, but, the way, but again, it goes to the point when she said she just got mad. Like, the way she told the story made it seem like she didn't intentionally try to go back in time. Right. It almost seemed like that was a power she has but didn't know she had, you know? Mm-hmm. And then that plus, what do you think she was going through? Like, do you think it has something to do with Chloe? Because remember she said she was going through something and that's when she, she was like, if any time you're going to show up, it would have been then. And then yeah. he, and he didn't. So could maybe could Chloe have been like sick or dying or something like that, you know? And then Lucifer didn't show back up, or maybe. But she also like when she went to see Chloe, like she didn't behave as if like her Chloe was dead. I, yeah, I don't think she maybe she didn't die. Maybe she was just sick, you know? Or oh, uh, that's just a guess. I mean. That could be totally off, but yeah, I honestly, dude. I really and when she did know. see her, she was like, "Mom!" Like she did, like, she, yeah, she was just like happy super her. casual about it too, like just walking around the house. Getting Eventually, food. but at first she wasn't. She was like, "Mom!" And then she I ran up and hugged her. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. She's. Um, I think we gotta plus, keep our like, eye on her. Yeah, I just, I don't know, and it all just seems too convenient. Maybe I don't know. Let's watch I it think so. Okay. And find out. Let's do it. You guys want to watch the next episode early? Go check out our Patreon. We have that there as well as full length. A new one, huh? Yep. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my 10 o'clock coffee. The second cup holder is broken, so I need you to hold it. <laughs> it's fucked up. Yeah. Look at you and all the <laughs> Great. Look what you made me do. Excuse me? All right, 10 bucks would take it a lot dirtier than that. Hey. I'm sorry. Isn't that like a bleach stick? Bad. Why would you use that on a dark color? Uh, the, or like a Tide stick? Yeah, or something? it might just be a colored Tide stick, though. Maybe. Come on, man. There's only four people in the entire world who can see me. And one of them is me. So can I please, please, please? Just One of them's maze. Sorry, but no. Okay, then let's start thinking about Rory and how she's feeling. Odd. That's what Maze said. <laughs> that is odd. <laughs> yeah, right. The fact of the matter is, she gave good advice. <laughs> yes, and I'm not sure I have the right to even be God. What time travel? Uh, can you? I mean, I suppose it's possible if you tried hard enough, given the self-actualization of it I all. I was a literal doctor. I was being metaphorical. Ah. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> he doesn't even roll with, like, parties and stuff now. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Could always count on my big sis for good porn, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kidding. Well, I think tea hides is chocolate.
There you go. Mm. All right, so. All right, that was pretty good. She knew that. <laughs> Anyone could have guessed that, though. I grew up here, remember? Listen, like you said, you know me, but you don't know Lucifer. Not yet. Get the gnome. So maybe just give him a chance. That's what I don't get. Like, why? Like, I mean, I get the some part of it because it's just, you know, the situation, but. What do you want? <laughs> I don't want to know what he wants. Something Throw ridiculous. Throw a party. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. He did it. Does he know him? Caleb Mayfield? I said, are you Caleb Mayfield? Ah, oh, he was one of the cops. Listen, I said, get down on the ground. You must be the new guy. Welcome to the force, rookie. <laughs> <laughs> that look says it all. He's gonna be going down by the end of this one. <laughs> I hope so. Now maybe someone else was staying here and they used that window as an escape. Sure. Or maybe the Easter Bunny came in through that window. He There's definitely did it. Bolo for a fuzzy dude with big ears, but teeth. I don't know if he did it or not, but he definitely doesn't care. Every toothbrush looks like a uh, Yeah. You know what I mean? Explanation is usually the right one. Look, if you ever want to decide what gets processed and what doesn't, just keep your head down. Keep your eyes on your job. You'll do more good in the long run if you don't blow shit up on your first damn day. She's partially right, but overall. I don't agree with her, because then nothing gets changed, you know? Well, no, that's what she's saying, but you're not going to climb the way up to make changes if you... That's what the part I agree with, yeah. if you just do it right away. Hey, Ella. Oh, a minute ago. Hi, I didn't hear you come in there. You were a stealthy one. It's <laughs> oh, that's right. Remember, she was... Flew in or her something. Her uh, whiteboard. I need to talk to you. She's suspecting them all. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> she doesn't okay, care. you can tell me anything, no matter how out of this world it might seem. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the real, real. Okay, thank you. So, uh, is this coming from a higher power? <laughs> Definitely not. Just your old pal Amenadiel asking you for a little favor. That <laughs> boy doesn't even pick up on the clothes. Oh, I am here for you, pal. <laughs> <laughs> How does he not pick up on these? Maybe he will. Oh my god, you're right, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how many presents he got. He got a... uh, You gotta give it to him. He does always go all out. Yeah, he does. Christmas, obviously. Now I'm told the box is much more fun to play with at that age, so we could uh, make a spaceship or a castle. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> One for me. I'll go long. I'll go long. <laughs> Got an arm. <laughs> He's such an idiot. Cool. Oh, oh, no. oh. <laughs> he got a Santa. Ah, no. oh, that was good. Ella found a trail of blood leading away from the open bathroom window. I was in the force a long time. I was raised in it. And usually, in the end, they do get it right. <sighs> I don't think they're going to get it right this time. I think he's right. You never know. Seeing as how you cops never come to ask me anything about anything. <laughs> well, ma'am, I would very much like to hear your opinion. <laughs> he's in a smooth... <laughs> I'm Loretta. She can't say no to him. You like pound cake? Yes. You like pound cake? Mm. Yeah, I love pound cake. It's great. Mm. Kevin came by here just last week, brought me some beautiful strawberries. Sweet thing. He worked at the post I take office. her word for it, you know. You get a nice government job like that, you don't go messing it up. The two of them were in some serious love. Hmm. 
You know how I know? The sex. <laughs> and I imagine wherever she is, right about now, she is scared to death. You find her. You look after her, okay? Yes, ma'am. He's the greatest of the angels, so of course he's going to. <laughs> Nought to 60 in 5.9 seconds with a top speed of 140 miles per hour. A true, true American It is funny that he just sticks to that one car. Can we go now? Uh, no, he's got other ones. That's just his favorite one. Yeah, but we've never seen him drive anything else. I think we have. No? He's been in that since the first season. Oh, he brought one. Did he rent it or something when he went to that car show? He, he brought, like, something. Not a car show, but, like, that car. I don't remember. <laughs> yep, you better get out of there. Oh, you know how much damage she that probably done? No, but she still hit something. <laughs> That's funny. Picked it up very quickly, didn't you? Very quickly. Yeah, because it's my car. <laughs> oh, she took it after he left. Someone busted into Kevin's apartment looking for Sam. Textbook case of mistaken identity. I was just on my way to talk to the lieutenant about it. <laughs> He's so hopeful. You know, trust me. And why would you? He met me at my worst. So then you do remember me. How can I forget? I'll always regret how I treated that kid. <laughs> now I don't know if he's being honest or not. He's definitely he being not. honest. How tough this job is. The good news is, looks like the Vic clipped it before she took off, so she won't get far. The Vic? There wasn't even a gun at the scene. Anyway. It's funny, there's still something up with him. I believe him for a half a second. Scum bag. <laughs> Why would he try to pin it on the... I don't understand what's going on here with this investigation. Either he's involved or he's just a flat-out racist and he's just assuming these things, you know? Every milestone in the most memorable way possible, which is... No one knows better than I do how to... Party! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> These people just came out of the woodwork. <laughs> Is he going to win her with song? No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Platter of money. <laughs> That's a sick bike. It is. What is it you do want then? I mean, I'd mojo you, but it doesn't work on Celestials. Then just ask. I was just about to say, what does she want? Yeah. I want you to leave me alone. You came here. Rory. There better be a very good explanation for all this. The party was great. <laughs> there will be. I'm just like... I get she's hurt. I just don't... Right. These kids don't have the luxury to separate the person from the uniform. This uniform took their mom away. This uniform killed their brother. I think that's what it was. That guy's just a racist guy. And he's making assumptions. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, confirming it, yeah. That's the slug I pulled out of Michaela's thigh. Mm. Thank you, Doctor, for helping us and her. And hey, if you talk to her again, please give her my number. 
I'm assuming what happened was she got shot by whoever broke in as well, and then somehow escaped out of the bathroom. Of course, just tell us where you are. Englewood Cemetery in the big mausoleum on the right. Hurry, please. Stay where you are. It's a good place we'll to hide, there. cemetery. Let's roll. Late, that, not that late. Can Why? get the fuck out of the cemetery that late? What do you mean? That's when they all come out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to have something serious, but I was like, maybe you won't say it. <laughs> I was like, oh, you went there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was just thinking that. Happen. Yeah. This whole cemetery is surrounded by half a dozen cars. <laughs> you know better than I that killing cops... It's gonna take this to another level of bad. Okay. What? Be it right. Mine arms. <laughs> Get away from her, you idiot. No, I'm not gonna do that. Because she's innocent. Sir, kill her. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> There's a guy with a gun right on the ground. What are you talking about? These guys are just morons. We'll see. And what, he was just gonna shoot her? <laughs> you know, I don't understand it. I'm also confused as to why the guy that was shooting at them just stopped and then gave him, turned himself in. Yeah. If we hadn't been there But tonight, we were. That's how I do it. And that's why I do it. And why I have to keep after it. I guess that's her whole point. Is that like she you can only do so much as one person? Can't that scumbag detective not be have a job? Can't somebody take him down? For real. Chloe did say she was gonna look into him, didn't she? Yeah, but she's not on the force. Yeah, anymore. but she can give information out. I'm sure she has some uh, strings she can pull. Still owe me ten bucks. Looks like you're buying coffees tomorrow. Yeah. Both of them. <laughs> Both of hers. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. If that's what it was. Yeah, right. <laughs> that is what she means. <laughs> I think so. Maybe she'll let him have a sip of one. <laughs> She's part Lucifer too, though. So who? <laughs> right. So she's gonna. She oh yeah, I know what you mean too. We knew they'd figure it out in song. It's always how it works. It was a great song. You like Simon and Garfunkel? A little bit, not too much. These two are killing it right now. Crushing it. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Don't you do it, Jerry. You know it is. Jerry. Fuck Jerry. Jerry. That was a sweet ending. Um, yeah. Hopefully that means that they're gonna... I hope so. Progress. Because I feel like with her, my only issue with her storyline so far is the lack of answers we're getting. She won't answer, yeah. No, not even specifically from her. I mean, like, from the story. Like, you know, like, the plot, the story plot of her character. Like, oh. it just, maybe it's just because I, I can't, I have to see. I'm holding judgment until we see what the answers are. But, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because as of right now, I'm, like, not enjoying... I, I am enjoying her storyline, but I'm not at the same time. Because I feel like every episode I watch, I'm not getting any further in her character. There's no progression in it, right? That's why, and I, like, I have more questions, not more questions, right? I've had the same amount of questions, more or less, for, like, the last, like, three episodes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Especially I'm, only I'm in ten episodes. But again, that's why I'm, I'm not like gonna bash it yet until I'm reserving judgment until we get the answers of what that story's. I mean, turn yeah, out like I do, like right. I get why she's upset. She has every right to be. But like, why can't she wrap her head around that this isn't the Lucifer? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it hasn't happened yet. Well, you I cannot that, take like she really is like, trying. Like, yeah. Yeah, she's just unjustifiably pissed, you know. No, I know. Like partially justified, but not, not for blaming. But this yeah, Lucifer. but it just doesn't like. I don't. I just don't get it, man. I don't get how nobody has any answers as to where he was. Like it, she, like isn't like saying like Aunt Maze was confused. Nobody knew where That's he what was. I mean. like, like once we get that answer, like what the reason was for him leaving. I want to know what it is that caused Chloe. Maze, Eve, to if just the, not tell her what if happened. If everyone besides Chloe knew where he went, which I'm assuming that they probably do, a deal, you know, like nobody told her what happened to him. If they all knew, right? But even even if it is just Chloe, what could it have been that? You know what I mean? Like, what could it have been that she wouldn't have told a daughter? Right. That's Doesn't make I'm any confused. sense. Like, she had Lucifer's car. She grew up in that house. Like, what the fuck is going on? I know, and she's like the derp. I was trying not to, like, I was trying to, like, brush off the shit she, like, says, like, you know, like, but then, like, the thing with, like, where she knew her Trixie keeps the chocolate, it's like, all right, maybe she kind of knew that, like, but. No, I don't think she's, um. Yeah, I don't think. Like, lying about no, it. No. Like, you know what I mean? I, just, I think uh, she, she can't be lying. She hasn't told us anything. We don't know what her motive for being here is. That's why I'm nervous that it is what it seems. Like, she is just, everything she said is truth. That makes me nervous because if that is the case, it almost makes me like, like I don't really care for that storyline then because like, it's kind of dumb. If Lucifer abandoned her, no, I'm saying like, if she came here with no other like ulterior motives or anything, and simply, it is exactly what she said it is. Oh, that she just got emotional, ended up here. And what I mean, not even from like her perspective. I'm talking about from like the writing of the show, like. Because then why would you have her just like appear and like casually like I'm gonna run this shit I'm gonna kill him when I now how did you how did you know where you are how did you know where you went you made it seem and like where you did you know what I mean well granted she did grow up in L A yeah but it, yeah because she would have never been to hell right that would should have been her first time if been. she didn't know for them unless it, it goes it goes so to what I was saying before the episode she made when she told the. Chloe and Lucifer about what she said really happened she made it seem like it was an accident like it had never happened before and it was an accident and like she just showed like she goes and then it just happened and I just right showed. you wouldn't just be sitting cross-legged on the throne you'd be like and immediately fuck immediately going, going out here? looking for your dad to kill him like right well that yeah I don't know. maybe the thought but that I don't, she wanted to kill him and like that's what transported her there, so like Maybe. that could be like. That but you would still. That. I feel like she should still be, be like, lost. Where am I? Yeah, if that was your first time ever time traveling, I mean, the first time I ever time traveled, I was a little wonky for like an hour. Where'd you go? Please, like I would tell you, your brain couldn't handle where I went. Lots of places. Sure, was some stupid. Real stupid. Like, I spilled my coffee the other day, and I really wanted that I, coffee. So I went back, and I had it again. And I didn't exact, spill it this time. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I'm like, the other day, I was like, smacked it through a wall full of oh, coffee. Imagine like, that's what it was. I'm like, I went back, and I caught it. I'm like, that's what you used it on. Yeah, well, what else would you use time travel for? It's to clean up your mistakes. I'm like, I don't know. Go back to zero. Go back to the pyramids. And you're like, why would I, I do that? see that on Google. <laughs> oh, I would hate you so much. <laughs> Just the thought of that makes me piss. <laughs> Another thing that seemed like a all little the embarrassing weird. things we said growing up, I'm going to fix them. Oh, 100%. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, that, that I don't blame, wouldn't blame you. <laughs> um, another thing that just didn't make sense to me in this one, like, I get, like, the whole, like, the racism in the cop storyline. Like, that's obviously all, like, legit stuff. But, like, the guy turning himself, the... the yeah, the, that didn't make any sense. Right, you know? And the girl, hands up in the air. With the guy right there with the gun in front of bleeding, him. Bleeding, and the other police officer on scene telling you this is the victim. Like, you... Like, I, like I get that guy's a racist, the detective, but, like, it wasn't just him. No, it was the girl that got out, too. Yeah. 
Well, like, yeah, I exactly, I 100% agree. And, like, I know part of that is, like, the... Is what happens. It, what, yeah. what happens, but it's more so that the vic- if, the, if the guy, the perpetrator, that if he was right there with the gun in front of him like he was, like, you would, and no matter what, you would instinctively look at the guy with the gun. Yeah, you have to. Also, the other cop is telling you that guy's the perpetrator. Right. <laughs> Both of them, more or less. Yeah. Not that she said much, the other cop, but still, she was there in general. Yeah, no, I don't. Um, it seemed a little. I, don't know, I like that. Seemed a little it, ridiculous. That part, yeah. Yeah, it was fucked up. That that cop was a piece of shit. That I can't know. believe he tricked me. Like, so oh, what no. was that whole apology for then? Because he was just trying to get him off his case. Like, I didn't even think he he would just. I thought business. he would just pretend that he remembered him. Like pretend like he didn't remember. Well, because him. that's what fuck you know people, guys that are like racist like that when they say shit like oh they want well, I'm not like, real I'm not yeah well I'm not really a racist but like yeah you, like you know yeah you wouldn't have said it then right exactly <laughs> so dumb but um, like what was I gonna say um damn it oh I'm wondering if they're gonna go if that guy's gonna they're gonna go more into that because they showed Chloe at. the... That was like, I would assume, like, all those papers were, like, his, his like... His complaints or his cases, and she's just trying to dig into them a little right. more. It did seem like that. Maybe that's what she's going to do. She'll build a case against them, you know? If she could do that. And Dan, I'm assuming, was tagging along and saw it all. That's why he was I'm upset sure. at the end. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's tough with Dan because, I, like, he just popped in and he out of the car. Anywhere. like. So, like, when he jumped out of the car like that, the car's, like, obviously, like, He's getting better at floating it, through things. It must be because, like, you want then it makes you wonder, like, how is he even like standing on the ground? How is you he know? sitting in the in the seat? Right. When they said he couldn't do that. Yeah, he can't touch an animate. Or animate but he can sit in the back seat of a car and stand on the ground. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's just flintstoning it, and he's running super fast. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> he got a pair of rollerblades. I am glad though that they found a way to bring him back into the show. Yeah. As little as it is, you know. Yeah. It's still pretty fun. And, like, obviously it's going to end with him going to heaven. Like, if it doesn't, then, like, fuck this show. Right. It better. Fuck, fuck this season. Jerry. Not the show. Yeah. Yeah. Jerry can go fuck off, if that's the case. <laughs> then we're definitely going there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planning a trip. Yeah. I'm sure he lives in Hollywood. He knows. Or he knows we're in California. Coming. I've been sending him notes. <laughs> <laughs> He's even been answering. Like, I know you guys are showing up. I said, you know I am. I hope we're totally, like, by the end of the show, we're going to be like, you know what? Not bad, Jerry. Touche. Yeah, I we hope. apologize. Because that means we liked it, you know? Yeah, so. no. I d- <laughs> I'm, I'm cautiously going in, like, I'm cautiously going into these last few episodes now because. Yeah, like, I want to see what they do with it's a, it. It's a crazy story when you only have 10 episodes left for the, and you know this is the end. Like, it's a bold story to go with, bring a daughter in with time travel and shit like that, you know? So When for five whole seasons, there was no mention of it. Yeah. Right, exactly. Hmm. Very good. Anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.